Justin Barton has done a hell of a job to get so far up in the grid after chunking the front end early in the night. Your front row is Lona and Galliford, Farrah and Morrison. Green flag flies. Stacey Galliford leads your opening corner. Eddie Lombard right up by the fence. And have a look at Stacey Galliford get after it. Lombard gets the fence on the back straight away, as does McCaleb. Morrison's front end is gone, Jake. The 47 cars into the back hard. Renee Eastham gets right into the rear as well. Takes a front on impact from the 47 of Morrison. Number 15 tangled up there as well. Wow, there's a lot of cars tangled up here and it's all stemmed. Right from Morrison who caught the fence. The front end was gone in the front of the motor in the pole position alongside Stacey Galliford. Didn't she look good opening? Here we go, green at the ready, Loda and Galliford. Stacey rips into one and two, Loda leads across the bottom. Galliford had to turn the nose up, here comes Mitch Smith as well. Cars tangled at the rear, Justin Barton almost loses the front wing on the 86. We stay green, Sammy Red has his hands full. In the red diesel as Adam Cullinger goes by. Galliford and Farrah battle for position three and four. Almost in the bubble, Brent Smith and Bill Locke. They're battling. Stephen Loder starting to rip away, chasing him down. Mitch Smith, car into the wall, Jake. We're going to go yellow is Adam Callinger. Justin Barton retires infield with front wing damage, as we might have expected. Not a good view coming out the front roll cage of the 86, or possibly he's going to continue on. Just a quick detour through the infield, a car stopped, as well as the 18 over there in turn three and four, Mitchell. At the moment, remember, only five, six will transfer. 13 laps of the board, take us away, Liam. Stephen Loner to lead away with Mitch Smith, Stacey Galliford, Zach Farrah, Brent Smith and Phil the Farmer Lock. The last car to make the transfer right now. Here comes Phil McCaleb, having a crack at Lock. The final transfer spot is anyone's guess right now. McCaleb right there. Sammy Wren is having a crack too. Right up the inside, the Wren Diesel V19. Looking on the inside of Phil McCaleb. That's the next spot in the field. Car going around is Daryl Atkinson. Then brings on the yellows. Stumps brings the yellow out. And that means we can just about go over to the Jake Morrell TED talk we've got going on the back straight away. He's really been yet to be sighted since, so hopefully for the souvenirs of the town we can find that Loch Ness Monte Carlo. We're green in a B main behind Stephen Loder. Mitchell Smith, Stacey Galliford, Zach Farrah. I think we're going to go yellow possibly. We stay under it. It was very untidy at the tail and we're green nonetheless. 12 laps to run. Magna Towing and Transport V10 of Stephen Loder. Rip in the middle of the raceway. Mitchell Smith has nothing for him so far. Car up and over in a big way, Jake, right in front of you. The number 21 going over in a big way. That's a monster ride up there in turn number two. Round, he's having a good time. Welcome to Avalon Raceway tonight, team. He's up and about, he's having a great time at the speedway. The whole family's down there on the front straightaway. We're green again on your B main. Right in front of the home crowd. Stephen Loder leads in the magnet towing number 10. Hopefully we can get this one in the books. Couple of wrecks so far. Let's hope for a safe passage to get us home in B main. Loder just ripping away. Here comes Brett Smith up the inside. Farmer Phil Locke has fallen back a couple of spots and Sammy Red suddenly finds himself in a transfer spot. He rips by Zach Farrah now too. Sammy Red up to P5. Phil Locke has problems. That's heartbreak. Phil Locke pulls to the infield and will take no further part. Stephen Loder starting to really run away. Looking good in this B-Main. Doesn't want to use up too much tyre, but cannot forgo this race win. And get himself onto the rear of the A-Main, the first transfer at the moment. 
Loader. Smith is over. Jake Smith goes over in a major way. Just kicked it in a little bit too sideways. And Mick Smith goes for an epic ride. In turn number three, cruising quick to get to the action. Wow, Jake, I don't know if you caught that one, mate, but that was a monster bite. Just turned it in a little bit too hard at corner rut. And just went up and over in a major way.